Hey, what's going on YouTube? Game of Art back again with episode 5 of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Let's Play. Last episode, we took on the Pewter City Gym Leader Brock and his Rock-type Pokemon. Pretty much swept him. He got maybe a tackle or two out, but in the end, uh, Bulbasaur and Pikachu pretty much dominated his team. And what's awesome is we were pretty much level, uh, equally leveled, so that that was great to see. Um, in today's episode, we are going to continue on with, I believe it is Route 3. I'll find out in a second. I think it's Route 3, which leads us to Mount Moon. So, uh, I remember Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow, this route was littered with trainers. And I will be taking them all on and maybe catching a few new Pokemon. Um, but hopefully I can make it to Mount Moon within a reasonable amount of time. So, without further ado, let us begin. Um, let me give you guys a quick squad recap. So, we are rocking Bulbasaur level 10, which is quirky, neutral nature. We have Pikachu, which uh, I need to look at what its nature is. I know this Pikachu has like perfect IVs under the covers. Hasty, so it is a plus speed minus defense. I will take that. We are rocking level 13 Pikachu and... The only other member on our squad at the moment, which is a Timid Pidgey, uh, level 12. Really, I'm just keeping the Pidgey around because it's a flying type. I do plan to replace it at some point. I just don't know with what. And like, I swear, you guys, I've been thinking about what team I want to do in this Let's Play. And so far, it's come down to I might just do Pikachu and the original three starters. Um... But we'll see how soon they crop up. I, I don't know if you get them in a relatively soon manner. Um, and we do have these Pokemon down here, which I'm not including as part of the squad. They're just here for the experience share. So I do not plan to use them in battle. So let us continue on. This kid shouldn't stop us now. So I think if I didn't take on Brock, he would have brought me there like they did in the original games. Oh, wow, that's a boulder badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? When you get new gym badges, more items become available to you in the Pokemart. Oh, I didn't know that. So it's just like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. By the way, the Pokemart is that blue building. Yeah, we know, we know where it is. Pokemarts are in lots of towns, though, so you probably already knew that, huh? Yes. Route 3. All right, so I was correct. So I'm going to lead off with Bulbasaur. Ah, <laughs> you got me. I'm going to lead off with Bulbasaur because I wanted to get some experience. Even though I just used it in a gym battle. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Yeah, so... You don't have to battle over it. Last Janice. Janice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help but do that. That is an old... Friends sitcom reference. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's a grass type against grass type. Wait, I'm seeing Pikachu shaking the... I don't want to do grass on grass. But I might do a tackle. So wait, what if I do... Pikachu support. My attack rose and defense. Special attack. Special defense. Whoa. That is a roto boost right there. So I'm just gonna keep using Absorb. I am gonna try and counter that with a Leech Seed. Ah, that's true. You can't Leech Seed them. Can't Leech Seed Grass Pokemon. All right, so let's just do Tackles then. I can't do Growl, I can't do Vine Whip. Yeah, it does a fair amount of damage and he's gonna absorb for like one HP. Yeah, take it. Uh, it's not going to help you much. You might live one more turn now. If I get, like, a min roll on this tackle. Yep, you live one more turn. So it's level 6 Oddish. Doesn't it know Acid? That would at least, like, not... It would at least be a... Attack. That, like, it doesn't get the... This isn't effective, you know? Down it goes. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I read I beat last Janice and I heard the laugh in my head. <laughs> 120? That's awesome. So so I get three Pokeballs still. And I'm getting a little over a hundred. Alright. I like that. So what's down here? I think there was an item, yes. Three Pokeballs. Alright. <laughs> you know, off camera, I did go stock up on more Pokeballs since Brock is just rolling in the dough and gave us a little under two grand. And now I feel bad because now I'm just getting a ton of Pokeballs now. Oh, you're a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train, train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. Something tells me this is like, like, this used to be beat all the other trainers in the area and then you would take on the strongest one. I feel like that's what this guy is. I don't think I'm going to be ready, so I will come back to him. Let me make a note that there is a coach trainer on Route 3. Alright, jot it down in our handy dandy notebooks. I will come back to him at some point. I have a feeling he is really strong. If he's if he's saying he's a coach trainer and is and is strong, so he's stronger than the other guys. This poor youngster. <laughs> Just doesn't know which way to face. That's true, because back in red, blue, yellow. These trainers just kept moving around, and you could pretty much dodge the majority of them. So yeah, I'll come back to that guy at some point, just, just not right now. Alright, I want to battle you, dude. Face me. Hey, my shorts are cool, right? You can stare at them. No thanks, kid. Just stare at them. Oh, shoot, and this thing's gonna know Peck, too. I need to get the heck out of Dodge. Pokemon. Yep, this is the perfect time to switch in, Pikachu. Switch! <sighs> so it's level 6. So I don't. Yeah, this should almost one hit KO, if anything. So let's do Thundershock. Yep. Man, I love seeing that HP bar just... Yes. Alright, I might start throwing in the Pidgey this time. Lost, lost, lost! 123 Pokeballs. Thanks, man. What's great is that, you know, usually it's the kid trainers that would give you a little less money than the other trainers. Uh, but I noticed they're all giving the same amount. Like with the kit trainers, it almost felt like I was taking their lunch money. And then you have like the wealthy trainers that would just give you the four digits. Uh, I'll battle you with the Pokemon I just caught. Alright. Spidgey, I think, is making its debut. I don't think... I have her uh, used this Pidgey before. Nidoran, I, I knew one of you was going to have a new Someone here has a Jigglypuff. I remember that, and it kept using Sing. It was the most annoying thing ever. So I'm waiting for you. Alright, so it is Poison. I know this isn't going to Oko, so I'm going to Sand Attack it a little bit. Yeah! Let's do one more sand attack, and then I'll start going on the offense. <laughs> Alright, sweet. So I pretty much got those turns for free. If he hasn't landed one attack on me yet. Yeah, this is going to be a three hit KO. 
All right, one more gust, and I might do quick attack just in case. I don't think level seven did a ran nose quick attack. Go ahead and peck. It barely gonna do anything. Quick attack. Sweet, Pidgey making its debut. Done like dinner. Who says that? I got two great balls. Oh, they're going to start giving me great balls. Oh, that's awesome. Hmm. Oh, that's a manky. I'm not going to need a manky for a while, but I will. There's the girl with the jigglypuff. I will definitely catch a manky. As long as it doesn't keep going in front of that trainer over there. Yeah, come this way. All right, let's do this. Going to try and catch a manky. Oh, it's yellow, huh? I don't want to resort to Great Balls already. It just it always does that. Ah, oh, you, you faked me out. Like, I don't get it. Like, it was an excellent throw. It just seems like it doesn't even matter. I think what also confuses me is that circle. It's definitely not like Pokemon Go. Come on, man. Just stay in the Pokeball. Because whenever the Pokemon does that little maneuver, like, like it's like trying to fake you out or knock the Pokeball away, usually the circle stops getting smaller. Oh, come on, man. Do I have to razz you? It usually stops and doesn't keep going, but in here, it keeps going. And I think that tricks me because I'm so used to Pokemon Go. Yeah, about time. Wait, wait. Nice. Usually it stops, but it doesn't stop in here. I got a Nanab Berry? Alright. So, I think it's still like a big circle, and that's like the time to start like throwing it, or like getting ready. And so I'll throw it, and it like, it's already small and it diminishes, and I've just essentially wasted my Pokeball. Because apparently, you need to get nice, great, or excellent for it to count. Which, which really sucks. It, it just feels like, oh, Sand whoa, that Sandshrew tried coming at me. You know what, I'm going to save. Because that Mankey took a lot of Pokeballs out of me. There's another Mankey. So let's catch a Sandshrew while we're here. <clears throat> yeah, that definitely... You know what? It's a ground type. You could come in handy for Lieutenant Surge, actually. Excellent. Now watch, it's going to pop out of the Pokeball. Even though I got an excellent on my first throw. Oh, it stayed. Alright. It stayed. I guess... I'm, I'm so used to... Wow! 108 experience? Bonus multiplier. Because it was... Alright. Tough candy, huh? Well, oh, tough candy must be for the Eevees. I heard there's no such thing as Eevee training in this game. You have to give them candy to do it. It wants to learn sleep powder. So... I don't know that I want to give it sleep powder. What's the accuracy on it? 75? What's the accuracy? 75? I will do it. Uh, I'll give it sleep power. Yeah, the the whole catching mechanism feels a little bit... Uh, was it R&D based? I might add the Sandshrew to my party, too. Let me see. Like, it, it really just feels like, like, I threw an excellent, and I feel like that should count for something, but it just doesn't. Can I, like, max this bag out? Add to party. Sorry, my, my other monitor just did a pop-up for me, and I was wondering what the heck is it doing? <laughs> 
you know, the Oddish, I'm already using Bulbasaur. I don't really need to level up the Oddish right now. Um, I have a Cocoon is all, almost done. No, I don't need Rattata. I don't need Eradicate. So I will put Sandshrew right here. And actually, let me move him up a slot, because I do want to make him a part of the squad for now. Actually, what? Or she. I want to make her a part of the squad. Quirky. So you are neutral. I guess I'll... You know Poison Sting? Jeez, the moves they learn in this game. Pikachu learned Double Kick. Granted, I think that's only that Pikachu that learns it. Oddish learned Acid, which I think it already did. No, but then Pidgey learned Mirror Move at an early stage. That is a, a really powerful Bird-type move, if you can master it and pull it off. And now the Sanctuary News Poison Sting. That's... All right, dude, whatever, I will take it. I don't think Sanshu normally learns Poison Sting, so let us keep it in the squad. Actually, yeah, I'll keep it in the squad. So it's a ground type. That is preparation for, um, oh, there's a Spearow. I want to catch that Spearow. That will be in preparation for the third gym battle, because then I don't think, uh, I don't think Surge will be able to touch me. Why is everybody yellow? Like, is it just going to get worse and worse and, like, Pokeballs are going to be obsolete? That just wastes buying all those Pokeballs for nothing. Man, it's always... What I also hate is the Pokemon can apparently run on you the second you throw the Pokeball. It's like, oh, I forgot, I'm actually out of here. And you just wasted your complete throw. I hate when that happens, because you're like, you're you're trying to line up your shot. Did I catch a spear already? I thought it was a new Pokemon. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, was is there anything else in this patch of grass that's worth catching? <laughs> Look at that manky over there just wiling out. <laughs> All right, so let's, I'm gonna save, cause that was three new Pokemon. Yeah, I hope Pokeballs don't become obsolete. I mean, they wanted to make this like Pokemon Go. Oh wait, this thing, he's gonna have Jigglypuff that sings. I wanna at least do something annoying also. So I think I'm gonna Leech Life this Jigglypuff. See that, Strats. Eek! Did you push me? No, you're standing in the grass. You probably had a manky run up to you and push you. Picnic or Robin? Oh, she's got a Nidoran. Alright. I thought she had Jigglypuff in red, blue, yellow. Maybe they took that away? I was so ready for a Jigglypuff. Alright, nevertheless, I am going to Leech Seed this thing this time. Give me my health. How much does that do? Not bad. Does it heal me all the way? Yeah. Sweet. Alright, and now let's get some stab vine whip. <laughs> this might take a while. I'm so glad I leech seeded this thing. Otherwise, we might be here all day. So this is like, what, four or five vine whips I gotta do? That was one. This is two. That's two. This is three. Yeah, I got oh, Leech Seed's gonna take care of it. Never mind. Alright. Yeah, do the thing. I swear she had a Jigglypuff in the original games. I guess maybe that the Jigglypuff was too annoying, and so they got rid of it. 
Like, I know they eased up two great balls. All right, so I'm into the age of great balls now. Glad I spent all my money on Pokeballs. I guess maybe uh, the Jigglypuff was way too difficult for some people, and maybe they... Not, not check summary. And maybe they got rid of it. Hmm. All right, so this... Pff. Stay in one spot. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. Isn't Kanto like uh, like a summertime kind of region, I think? I think I heard somewhere uh, in an interview with the, the folks that like envisioned and helped create uh, the original games, like Kanto was based off of a real region uh, out in the world. And so they... They base it off of that, and it's like a summertime area. Alright, it's a rat attack. I'm gonna do a sand attack. Quick attack. Huh? Yeah, we'll see how many of those you land after a sand attack. I'm gonna do it one more time. Because I feel I'm gonna be here a little bit, trying to take this rat attack down. And he's got no special, so I don't think I can pull off mirror move. Smear move, I think you attack second, but it's it's a reversal. It's, it's a, I think it's a reversal of the attack that was just done. I think it, it's been so long since I bothered using. Wow, I should have just been gusting you this whole time. Stop quick attacking me. That's like your only strat is to quick attack. I believe it. Pokeballs. Alright, so he gave me Pokeballs. Alright, so if there's another... Ah, this is a Buck Catcher. Pitchy should do good. Are you a trainer? Let's get to it right away. Yep. Why bother making dialogue? Let's just start battling. Buck Catcher Greg. What you got? Do you have Kakuna? I, I was... Hmm. So this thing is either going to tackle me to death or it's gonna harden to death. Level 5. I got this. Gust. This should... Oko? I'm level 13. Yeah, alright. Get that out of here. Go back to Varian Forest and catch yourself a Beedrill. <laughs> if I'd had new Pokemon, I would've won. <laughs> 60? Dude, seriously, get out of here. Everybody else is giving me like 120. You gave me 60? Oh, Bulbasaur found something. What'd you find? Is it Raz? Alright, it's Raz. I'll take Raz. Um, uh, there's a Sandshrew. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Revive. Alright, I'll take a Revive. We don't have a Revive. There's a Rattata. I don't want to fight the Rattata. Is there anything good? Like, I feel like I'm missing out on rare Pokemon. Um, like, like Bulbasaur, I know is it's kind of rare. I think it's actually uncommon in Viridian Forest, so it took a while to find. I feel like I have to hang around some of these areas too, um, in order to find them. But I'm just bypassing them. Route four. All right. Are you another? Yeah, you're another trainer. I feel like I'm missing out. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look it up at some point, see if there's any rare Pokemon to find. Hello there, I'm a coach trainer at your service. Do you want to train a bit before taking on Mount Moon? No, but I will jot you down as well. Let's see. Coach trainer. All right, I feel he's going to be tough as well, so I will come back to him as well. Um, I don't feel like taking on these big trainers right now. Yeah, I'll come back to you another time. I say that Pokeball, what do you say? Ouch, I tripped over a Geodude lying on the ground. Did it then attack you? 
Because I think that was a Pokedex entry way back when, at some point, where it said people accidentally step on Geodude and then they attack them. You got, I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. Are you looking for Onix? That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onix. Called it. Wait, whoa, whoa, what, what's going on? Oh, P Pikachu looks... Do you want to ride on an Onix? Dude, me too. We... Dude, me and Pikachu are just so in sync. You know, I was just thinking the same thing too, Pikachu. I want to ride on an Onix. And now I'm going to poke your tail. G give me the tail. <laughs> I like this little thing where you can like play with them and like the, the tail. Look, alright, look. This, this hand is hard to control, alright? I've got like a little gyro ball in this Pokeball, so it, it's like... I have to hold it so steady. It's so... what's the word? Sensitive. Bulbasaur, do you want to ride on Onyx? Well, actually, you'll be in the Pokeball if I'm riding on Onyx. Seems jealous of Pikachu. Will you give it some attention? Yeah, I don't want you to feel jealous. Like, if there was a little side thing where I could pet you too, I would do that. But they took it out. Look, I'll give you more praise. <laughs> so do I, Bulbasaur. So do I. All right, so I'm gonna go up in here and heal. Uh, let me let me see what what they got first before I end off today's episode. Team Rocket attacking the good people of Cerulean City and in their own homes. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news for some crime or another. If you catch a lot of Pokemon, you'll end up with more than you can carry around in your party. But all the ones you can't carry, you can just stow in the Pokemon box in your bag. So no sweat. Oh, you mean I don't have to pay money to increase the, the box count? Plus, no matter how full your Pokemon box gets, it's easy to search to find the Pokemon you want. Yeah, there is a, 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 a sorting feature in the Pokemon box, but I need to press, what is it, X or Y. So I can't press A or B on this thing in order to sort. So if I press A, then I'm selecting on a Pokemon. If I press B, I want to get out of this menu. Like, do I, do I try shaking it, maybe? I don't know. It, it feels like they missed out on that. Like, the Pokeball Plus was so hyped up for this game, and there's, like, certain things I have to work around in the menu system just to get by. Just so I can use this thing. Hello there, laddie. Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a secret Pokemon, a Magikarp. Just, you know, I was warned about you. Yeah, there was a guy who purchased a Pokemon back in Pewter City that said a guy sold it for 500 No, thank you. So you buy it, am I right? Uh, no. No? You say no? I'm only doing this as a favor to you. I will catch a Magikarp on my own. No, thank you. That, that might have tricked me back in the day of red, blue, and yellow, but not... Mm-mm-mm. Okay, have I got all my Pokeballs on my belt? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yep, that'll do it. No matter how many Pokemon you have in your Pokemon box, you can only take six in the battle. There's a Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff do anything? Oh, don't put me to sleep. <laughs> and now all my Pokemon are asleep. <sighs> When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. When you try to catch a Pokemon, yeah? You sometimes see a green ring, yeah? That kind of Pokemon is easy to catch, yeah? If the ring's yellow, it'll be a bit harder, yeah? And if it's a red ring, yeah? That Pokemon might be really hard to catch. Yeah, uh, I'm not looking forward to the red rings. All right, so I'm going to heal up. I'm going to end the episode today. Unfortunately, we didn't get to Mount Moon because there's a boatload of trainers along Route 3. So in the next episode, we will go through the entirety of Mount Moon, catching the Pokemon that lie inside. If you enjoyed today's episode, please hit that like button below, support the new channel, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time. See ya.